Hello, Android users. This is Evil Libby. Reverend Kyle was gracious enough to let me demonstrate for you the new Quadrant app and how it measures up to the previous version. We're all aware that for the longest time, Quadrant was the benchmark tool for showing off your Android device's power. But with the advent of dual-core technology, Quadrant started to waver in terms of its accuracy and wasn't the best way to measure an Android device's performance. Now, Aurora Software has released a new 2.0 version of Quadrant that is supposed to better reflect the performance of a multi-core device. Let's see how it measures up. I have here Reverend Kyle's touchpad. My touchpad still has Cyanogen Mod 7 on it, and so I stole his to do this video with Ice Cream Sandwich. He is currently running Classic Nerd version 0.1.0. First, we are going to see what our results are on the original Quadrant app. This is version 1.1.1, which reflects the one core score. You can see in the system information that it is only showing one core. Reverend Kyle has his touchpad overclocked to 1.5 gigahertz. If you want to know how to overclock your touchpad, he has a video on his YouTube channel to help you with that. Okay, let's run the benchmark. You can see the frame rate at the bottom of the screen. And now we have our score, 2376, which isn't bad for a single core device. You can see that it is blowing the Nexus 1 out of the water. Now we are going to upgrade to the new version of Quadrant. We'll go out to the Android market and download the new version 2.0. Okay, we now have the new version 2.0 as you can see in the About box. The system information now shows that there are two cores. This should in theory increase our score. Let's run it and find out. Twenty-five fifty-three is our score with the new version 2.0, which is much higher than the original version. Ultimately, we determined that the test gives a higher score as a result of the dual-core technology. What does this really mean? Well, nothing really. 
benchmarks are all bunk anyways. I still find that the best way to determine a device's capabilities is how high my score is on Words with Friends. This is Evil Libby, and I've demonstrated for you the new Quadrant version 2.0.